What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com on making that team better. Also, if you guys ever want to make a purchase, make sure you guys use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. If you guys ever want to sell your EAFC24 coins, go to the same website and go to the selling section as well. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all boys. And today we're gonna go ahead and review 90 rated feature stars evolution Athena, Athena de Castillo. I do apologize if I mispronounced your name. I also do want to apologize on uploading this video a little late. Today is Monday and she came out technically on Friday, but you guys know me, I had a little bit of things going on, so I do apologize on that aspect. We're looking at a card that's 5-3, high low on the work rates, double five star on the skill moves and weak foot, preferred foot, right foot, acceleration type, mostly explosive, 93 pace, 92 shooting, 85 passing, 92 dribbling, 79 physicality as well. Play styles that the card comes with is chip shot on basic, power header on plus, trickster, first touch, technical, and acrobatic on um, plus as well. Now there's a couple chem styles you could give her. We're gonna go ahead and give her the engine chemistry style. You basically max out that pace with 90 acceleration, 97 sprint speed. You basically boost up the passing to 98 short pass, 95 vision. Long pass goes up to 70. But the main thing you wanna boost up is that dribbling because ball control, reactions, and dribbling going up to 99 looks pretty nice. But 82 agility, 83 balance is a little bit of a question mark. Even then, she's 5'3", or her body type. I don't expect her to feel clunky. We just got to be on the safe side, so balance is going to go up to 91. Agility goes up to 86. Miss Athena is going to be playing with this amazing team right here. Shout out to the homie. Swizzy, and we're going to be playing her in a 4-3-2-1 as a right forward, right behind that, and bop it. Now, we want to see potentially with this future Stars Evolution if she's a potential top 10 winger in the video game. I recently tried out that Future Stars Doku. Absolutely amazing card. If you guys haven't checked out that review, feel free. He's amazing. But this card is technically free to my understanding. We're going to play some games in Division Rivals and see how good she is. Very nice and step over. Unlucky. Oh, that was nice. Very nice heel to heel and a good Trevella finish inside the box. All right, all right, good start to the video. I believe this guy is going to leave the game. We're going to the next one right now. All right, boys, here we go with the second game. And I do want to say that we ended up switching from the engine chemistry style to the marksman chemistry style. So, excuse me, not the marksman, the finisher chemistry style. So we're gonna have to see, cause I have a feeling the finisher is the best chem style for the card. Very nice keeping on to the ball. So, like I said before, dribbling, absolutely A1 from the car. Very nice pass, unlucky on the finish. Good ball to Mbappe and a great ball to Athena right there. Nice, good finish and good positioning. Nice, good pass. Oof, very nice and the reverse elastico, man. We sent that defender, good finish as well. Very nice step over. She couldn't finish that though, that is indeed tough. Nice. Damn, I kind of sold on that one. So we could find her on that inside pass. Still keeps on to the ball. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. I don't know how Mbappe didn't shoot that at the goal, but. We're gonna kick, Woo! easily cook Rio right there. Good goal from her. Very nice. Oh, that's an easy Travella, man. Very nice goal right there. And that's the dagger to win 4-2. to two. I'm not going to lie. I'm liking her. She's feeling pretty nice. Oh, 
Great ball control right there from her and a good finish. Nice shot, man. Her speed makes it very tough to catch up to her, so we do love that. Great run. Nice little one, two. Far post and a beautiful finish to make it 3-0. She is cooking up. I do apologize. Background noise, excuse me. We got people in Moe line at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I don't know why, but yeah. Boys, she is absolutely rapping, man. She easily outpaced Roberto Carlos in a clinical finish near post. Fire stuff from her. The late ass game doesn't let me first time the shot. Very nice. Ooh. Pen. Let's go, y'all, boys. She's just too crispy with the dribbling. We're going to shoot the pen with her right now. We go top right. Hopefully, she bangs it in. Ooh, good finish. Nice. Once again, good run from her. Crispy R1 dribbling. Ooh, that is a bad miss. Unlucky. I don't know what I'm seeing from this car right now, but she is breaking the game by not losing the ball. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm lucky. She is absolutely filthy, boys. Holy fuck. She's way too easy, man. Way too easy for her. All right, boys. And that concludes the review for 90 rated Future Stars Evolution Athena de Castillo. And I believe she is a free card. You literally just have to play a lot of games with her to upgrade the 90 Future Stars Academy version. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm absolutely impressed with this car. She is 1,000% a top 10 winger in the game. She is very meta, and she checks all the boxes. Basically, for what you want from a winger at this stage of the game, we played four games with her, 13 goals, and zero assists as a right forward in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Like I said earlier, she checks the majority of the boxes, and she has a lot of pros. There's only one thing I don't like about her, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. It's a problem with 90 to 95% of the females in EAFC 24 Ultimate Team. But pros right off the bat is, number one is the work rates. High-low work rates is absolutely amazing. Some would argue it's the best work rates for an attacker, and rightfully so. Next pro from the card is that she's double five, yeah, boys. She has five-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. That is absolutely amazing, especially for a winger at this stage of the game. She's able to dribble and go to either side and most importantly shoot with either foot because the next pro from the card is the finishing 94 finishing going up to 99 we kept her with the finisher chemistry style i'm gonna go ahead and say that the finisher chemistry style is the way to go we started out with the engine and i was like you know what let me see if the finisher is the way to go and she is super amazing with that finisher finishing top tier attack finishing like i said earlier with those work rates Goes up to 99. Her offensive AI is amazing. She makes some great runs. Always at the right spot at the right moment. Next pro from the card is the pace. 94 acceleration. 93 sprint speed. Doesn't get boosted up. But for some reason, for her having 94 and 93 without quick step or rapid. Not even on basic. She doesn't even have quick step or rapid on basic. She only has technical on basic. And she still feels super rapid with and without the ball. Next pro from the card is the dribbling. Now the dribbling was something coming into today's video, a little bit of a question mark because that agility and balance is a little bit low to my liking, but the finisher boosted up the agility to 90, balance to 87, dribbling gets maxed out at 99. 
and she felt very nice with the step overs, running in a straight line, reverse elasticos, scoop turns, ball row scoop turns, the whole nine yards. She is absolutely amazing, even in bad gameplay when it comes to the creativity down the wing. Now, I know she has 80 composure. I would completely ignore that 80 composure. It's just a stat to throw you off, in my opinion, because she's very clinical. We do not have to worry about the 80 composure. Another pro from the card is that she has 94 short pass, 91 vision with that five star weak foot, easily able to play make with either foot. Next pro is that she has 92 stamina. She's going to last the whole game, no matter where you play her in the attack. Now, obviously the biggest con from this card is her physicality, combination with her being 5'3". I mean, 68 strength and 84 aggression is not a bad combination, but let's be honest, guys. If you're putting her down the wing, against a Theo Hernandez, a Flashback Davies, a team of the year Van Dyke, she's going to lose the ball 10 times out of 10. So aside from the physicality being a major con from this card, this is a must do evolution. Unless you guys have like an Mbappe down the wing, a Pele down the wing, Evolution Milan, those type of cards. Even then, I would argue that this, you know, Athena card, Athena, however you pronounce her name, She's probably the best winger that EAFC 24 Ultimate Team have dropped. I would put her in the same bracket with that Evolution Malen card. They're both very nice down the wing. Obviously, Malen with way better physicality. But this card is nice, and she plays for the best team in the world. So, you can't deny the quality right there. She's going to get a thumbs up for me and a rating of a solid 9 out of 10. You guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys ended up completing this Evolution Athena card or did you guys stay away from her? Because if you guys did, I highly recommend you guys do complete her. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. The next video that I might drop might be another Future Stars Evolution card. If not, it's going to be some rank 1 rewards with some 86 plus hero player picks. Thank you guys once again. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA and I am out. Bye bye.